Hey guys, it's Joey again, and I'm here just to talk about how amazingly awesome and fun and beautiful LA Pride was for me. Um, this is more for just my own recollection because I had a really good time and kind of just want to put all my videos and thoughts together about the event. So, yeah, um, let's just start talking about things in chronological order. So basically, <clears throat> I wasn't planning to go to Pride at first um, because I didn't have any money <laughs> to go and like get there and stuff. So it was kind of like a last minute thing when I got my paycheck. <coughs> And so I decided to go just Sunday so that way um, I could kind of just chill and enjoy the day rather than go back to back Saturday and Sunday, which worked out great because Saturday turned out to be a horrible disaster for anybody who had Saturday tickets and got there late because of the overselling of tickets. But Sunday was perfectly fine and it was great. So I ended up getting my tickets and it was awesome. I bought my outfit and I'll insert a picture of my outfit right here. It was really cute. I felt adorable. I felt like a gay little princess. It was amazing. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> on Sunday, I got up at like 6 a.m. I started getting ready and because I've never like worn something like this, the outfit that I had on. So I don't know. I was just trying to prepare myself to feel confident for the day. And so I got ready. I got on the train. I by the time I got to Union Station in LA, I think it was like about 9.53, I took the subway <coughs> to Hollywood and Highland, and then from there I Ubered to um, West Hollywood Park, where, which is where the parade and the festival was held at. So that was the morning and getting there, and it was pretty chill, no hassle, nothing bad. Oh yeah, and so then I met a lot of really cool people on the train and the bus that were also going to Pride. So when I got in line, we had to figure out like where to get our tickets, if we had will call, uh, when the festival was opening, when the pr uh, parade was starting, and all that good stuff. So I like became friends with a few people in the line, and we were just chilling and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And so the parade was starting, and the parade was so cool. And as I was watching, I was like looking on updates on Instagram, and I realized that Katya, party, the Katya from. RuPaul's Drag Race, aka the love of my freaking life, Party. was there <coughs> in full drag, which was surprising to me because Kati hasn't been, you know, doing drag even at DragCon 2018. Um, he, Brian. Katya, he didn't go and drag. So I was like, oh, he's definitely not going to come, blah, blah, blah. But he was there, and I got to see him, and I died. I was so thankful. <coughs> Katya was so beautiful in all her realness. And then after like that amazingness, um, oh, I also saw Aquaria and Peppermint in the parade as well. They were in the Mac parade. I'll enter the clip next right now. She's on RuPaul's Drag Race this season. Oh, and I'm pretty sure she's gonna win. and I was like that's all I'm gonna see of them for the day so I was just like kind of happy that I just saw them and Jonathan from Queer Eye was also in the parade and I was so excited and I got a video of him love you Jonathan <laughs> Woo! and I also thought that was like the last that I was gonna see of him for that day I was very much wrong so <laughs> when we get inside of the the festival which was about 12 30 that they le started letting us in I was walking around and I was just kind of getting my, my shit together and everything and I was walking by like the beer like the alcohol section where you could like buy alcohol and stuff and I was trying to get water because I was severely dehydrated and as I was walking I see Jonathan and like a few other people like around him who were his friends like walking and I was just like this is my time to shine so I just kind of like stood there and like pretended that like I was waiting for somebody because I didn't know how to like interact I didn't want to be weird you know I didn't want to like freak out and like cause a scene so I was just trying to be chill so like but he finishes ordering his drink and he kind of turns around for a second I was like uh Jonathan like I literally was just like Jonathan and he was like hey sweetie and I was like oh my god this is crazy and basically he just talked to me like I was a friend 
of his for like years and he was just so chill and sweet and he kept complimenting me and we hugged it was a really awkward hug because of all the stuff I had in my hands but I was so happy to hug him he looked adorable and he's as soft and beautiful as he is on Queer Eye which is very rare in when you meet celebrities so I was really appreciative that he was a good person and I didn't ask for a picture or video because he seemed like he kind of just wanted to chill especially because he just got back from Australia he was a little tired so I was like I'm happy with just meeting you so yeah he was amazing and that was really really freaking awesome like Queer Eye is one of my favorite shows ever. I grew up watching that show, and to see the second version, somebody from the second version of the Fab Five in real life and meet them and talk to them, is just, it means a lot to me. Um, so yeah, so after that, I walked around for a bit, I got a few things um, from the booths, and then I went straight to the main stage at the festival. I was at Barrier, and I was so excited. And then, to my surprise, Aquaria was going to perform on the main stage and I was like oh my god oh my god and she came out and holy crap she served she spilled the tea about season 10 she like gave us so many spoilers like she basically spilled the whole finale for us on stage for as cocky as I am I don't think I might end up in the bottom two next week either but it was great she's so amazing when she performs and she was really sweet and cool and I have a bunch of videos of her that I'll insert, and I'm sure they will show up right now. Yeah, so as you can tell, she was on fire. And then after that, after a little bit, I believe Saturn Rising performed? I think Saturn Rising performed. And I was like, I really liked their music. I had never heard of them before. They were really good, and I was just kind of like, oh, I fuck with this, you know? Like, this is really cool. And so I'll insert a clip of a little a little snippet of um, Saturn Rising performing. Here you go. I don't have that kind of time My energy, everything I need to make in my style. Yeah, it was, like, really cool. I really enjoyed their performance. And then after that, it was Peppermint, I believe. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if she came after or before. I can't remember. But once again, I was at Barriers, so she was, like, right in front of me. And I love Peppermint so freaking much. Like, she's one of my favorite queens. And the whole time, I was giving her, like, fat, hard eyes. Like, the entirety of her performance, I was just staring at her. And then she came over. She looked at me right in the eyes blew me a kiss and winked and I was like I am so severely gay it hurts and like she could tell I was shook and like she kept coming over and like eyeing me and I was just like can we girl baby you need to stop before I freaking die and yeah that was just insane so I'll insert a little clip of uh, a few clips that I loved of her in here somewhere so enjoy those <laughs> She left me shook for my screams that you can hear audibly. But uh, yeah, so after that, it was kind of chill. I watched a few other artists. Um, I think I made it all the way up to Jennifer, uh, not Jennifer, Lauren Sanderson. She's like a rapper or something. She's really good. And they had confetti, and it was really pretty. I'll insert something about that um, in a second. But uh, yeah, it was really pretty ending for my day because I had to leave because. Um, my train back was at 8.53, so I had to be able to get there in time with the subway and the Uber and all that good stuff. So the rest of the day was pretty chill. Um, it was just beautiful being around all these other queer people, straight allies. I just felt really accepted and like at home. I was kind of sad that my mom didn't want to come with me. It kind of like, it made me feel kind of shitty, but you know, at least I had people there that I knew were supportive of me, even if they didn't know me. And I'm just really happy with my experience this year. And I'm excited for next year to hopefully go with my best friend, Mary Lou. And we could be extra gay together. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just thankful for the opportunity to go and be in a safe place. Um, 
with a lot of cool people and get to meet a lot of my idols. So yeah, thank you Pride, thank you LA, um, you're the best, and I'm so excited to see you again next year. Um, thank you!